Welcome to The Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. 2022 self-publishing survey. First of all, thank you to all the authors who participated in the survey. It means a lot to me. My 2022 self-publishing survey was conducted from July 2022 through November 2022. Participants were recruited through email and social media to answer an online bank of survey questions. A total of 129 self-published authors participated and 116 completed all questions, or 90% of those who participated. The 2022 survey is the first since the COVID-19 pandemic. Though not everyone was willing to share their book income, 89%, or 115 of them, did. And 86% of them, or 111, shared their forecasted income for the coming year. I just asked for book income. It was exclusive of any other household or business income. These responses included those who had books published and those who have no books published yet. In all surveys, there were several authors who had zero books published at the time of the survey. While that may sound odd, it really isn't. The survey was open during the summer with about a half year left for them to publish. So when they responded, they may have been somewhere on the self-publishing path. Maybe they finished writing the book, they're working on formatting or editing it, things like that. Unpublished authors may be excluded from my commentary, and I'll note if they were included or excluded. The 115 authors who responded to the income question included those authors with zero books published. So to get a more accurate picture of what active self-published authors are making, I filtered out those with zero books and only looked at those who have at least one book published. After filtering, that left responses from 99 authors. Here's the big stat everyone wants to know. A commanding majority of all authors, or 75%, with at least one book published, projected making less than $1,000 in book revenues and royalties in 2022. In 2016, this group represented 73% of the responding participants And in 2018, it was 77%. Note how consistent these findings are for a time span of six years. That's income stagnation. So considering inflation, self-published authors' real income is decreasing over time. Given the sample size for this particular question, there's a margin of error of 10% in either direction at the 95% confidence level. But even at that margin, the results are still not encouraging and could be even worse. This means that 65% to 85% of self-published authors with at least one book published are estimated to make less than $1,000 in annual book income. The most popular annual income answer in 2022 was $100 to $499 in 2022 as an annual self-published book income. That represented 24% of the authors with at least one book published who responded to the income question. In both 2016 and 2018, the most popular answer was $1 to $99 for an annual uh, book income. So it's an improvement for 2022, but not by much. The second most popular income for books in 2022 was $1 to $99, or 20% of those who responded to the income question and had at least one book published. The percentage of authors with at least one book published making $10,000 or more from their self-publishing was 8% of those who responded. This was higher than in 2018, when only 6% made $10,000 or more, and it was in line with 2016, when again, 8% made $10,000 or more. The percentage of authors self-published with one book or more 
making 50,000 to 99,999 or just under 100,000 from self publishing was 2% in 2022. No authors were making $100,000 or more in 2022. This is a consistent finding with 2018. These are not incomes that can sustain a household or even a single person. This is not a reliable or lucrative income either. Responses were filtered by subgroup to see if there were any differences in income based on uh, demographic factors. I found no major differences in income based on gender, age, genre, or business ownership. However, looking at self-published experience, there were some interesting findings. Logically, it would seem that self-publishing more books should result in more income, especially considering that backlist titles can earn income for many years into the future. So I filtered the survey by the number of books published and found that at the level of self-publishing experience for one or two books, the most popular income level was $100 to $499 annually. At three to nine books, the most popular answer was $1 to $99. Then a big jump at 10 plus books with the most popular answer being $5,000 to $10,000. But we have to dig a little bit deeper to figure out the reason for these spectacular results. The 10 plus books segment, making $5,000 up to $10,000 a year from self-published books, was 3% of all participants who answered the current income question. These were likely successful outliers. Considering a small sample size, these outliers skew the results. Taking the highest performing outliers out of the 10 plus books sample shows a tie for the most popular income of between $1 and $99 a year and $1,000 up to $5,000 a year in that 10 plus books segment. Of concerns, the drop in income in the three to nine books published segment. As with all sales and marketing, there comes a point of diminishing returns. Author fatigue, reader fatigue, existence of equal substitutes, and information overwhelm can all be factors impacting book sales. Even though the current year results are not that encouraging, authors surveyed who answered the next year forecast income question were kind of optimistic about their prospects for book sales in the coming year. This was consistent with the 2016 and 2018 surveys. A total of 111 authors answered the book income forecast question. Since even authors who have zero books published this year can make a forecast for next year, they are included in the following tallies. The most popular response overall for next year's forecast for book income was $1,000 up to $5,000, and that was 23% of the responses. That was the same most popular forecast in 2018 and 2016 too. While it was optimistic for all of these years, it's concerning that authors are not projecting making more than $5,000 in self-published book income for quite a few years now. Forecast for annual book income of less than $1,000 was 62% of authors in 2022. I'm encouraged that authors are thinking more realistically in terms of their income potential, but the forecast is not encouraging. This suggests that well over half of authors are not looking at self-publishing as a major household income or even business income source. Only 16% of authors in the 2022 survey were forecasting incomes of $5,000 up to $100,000, and no authors were projecting making $100,000 or more. So I filtered the responses by subgroup to see if there were any differences in forecasts based on demographic factors. Forecasts segmented by gender and genre didn't show any difference. Though there was some variance based on age, because of the small sampling for each age level, it's difficult to make any conclusive opinions other than that authors, regardless of age, 
aren't forecasting to make more than $5,000 in book income in the next year. Non-business owners were very pessimistic with a most popular forecast of $100 to $499, but even the business owners were only projecting $1,000 up to $5,000 in the coming year. The two most popular next year forecasts for new authors with zero books published were $0 and $500 up to $1,000. This was a more pessimistic forecast than from unpublished authors in 2018 when they projected going from zero this year to earning $1,000 to $5,000 in the next year. It's possible that new authors are now understanding the sales challenges of self-publishing. As the number of books actually published increases, the forecast becomes more and more mixed. For authors with one book to three to nine books, the forecast was $1,000 to up to $5,000 for next year. But for two books, the forecast for next year was $1 to $99. Then at the 10 plus books level, there were equal number of forecasts for $500 to $1,000, $1,000 to $5,000, $10,000 to $25,000, and $50,000 up to $100,000. Again, the problem of outlier responses and small sample could be responsible for the high variance in responses at that publishing level. But it more likely speaks to that a higher volume of publishing does not necessarily result in greater income and that other factors impact forecast projections. So why is it so difficult to make a living from self-publishing these days? First of all, there's too many books. The sheer number of books being published by self-published authors is high. In 2018, R.R. Bowker reported that 1.6 million ISBN numbers were assigned to self-published authors in the United States alone. And that's just for print, and that's just for one year. That doesn't even take into account authors who are publishing on Kindle Direct Publishing and merely having an Amazon assigned ASIN inventory number assigned to their ebooks. This also doesn't include traditionally published books. The number of new books entering the market could easily be into the multiple millions per year. Also, not in this number are backlist books from years ago, even hundreds of years ago. So sales competition purely based on numbers is staggering, but that isn't the worst of it. The competition from all other forms of content cannot be ignored. There's on-demand and streaming entertainment, YouTube videos, video gaming and gaming channels, and social media. Books continue to be a popular entertainment and education option, but they're just one slice of the expanding content market. If you want the full written report of the 2022 self-publishing survey results, it's available on Amazon and Kindle and for Kindle Unlimited. I hope you found this helpful or interesting. And if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you like the YouTube video better, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is at Heidi Thorne Channel, and turn on the notifications so that you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share either the audio or the video with your friends on social media. My self-published books are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is go to one of those sites, type in my name, Heidi Thorne, and my author page will come up with a list of all available titles. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode, and in the meantime, have a great day.